Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Estella, and today we are going to talk about my 2023 Pocket Moleskin Planner. This is my purse planner. I absolutely am obsessed with this planner. I'm already thinking about using this for next year. This is just going to be my little pocket of peace planner. I love it. So what I love about this planner is, is that it's portable. I could stick some paper clips in here to kind of close out personal areas when I'm out and about and I don't want to accidentally show anything but I am in love with the system and I want to show you how I'm using it so it's been a while since I showed you that I started using this this will be my new purse planner and I wanted to share what it's looking like so far so in the inside here we have my intro which I love this is my beginning pages it says planning the world stationery magazine I just love this. I love the little library card, my vellum, love that. And then this, as I'm using this and other systems every single day, I'm going to tweak it and kind of really customize it so that way next year when I use it, it is ready to go. And this is from Peanuts Planner Routine and I was able to edit it using Adobe software. Here are my trackers. I love the trackers. And then we have March, April, May, right? And then I have my overview here, my calendar. So as you can see, this is completely being used the way it needs to be used. So I want to make sure that I have all my appointments listed. I have everything that I need. I have all the information, right? And then it goes into... The next month and then I have my view here so whenever I need to add appointments I can do that I just love the way this paper sounds too this I created as just another dashboard I love that you can create dashboards within this planner so love that and haven't used this page yet I know I said I was gonna try to figure it out but still haven't and sometimes that's okay then any important notes here and here is the first personal section so I just skip over that and then I have my bills here which I'm keeping track of any afterpay payments here annual um, medical appointments things that I need to do yearly and I also just finished doing my pantry so let's put the date in that was February 11th we did that yesterday so happy then I'm gonna skip over the next like important part. Let me just make sure this is all. Okay, yeah. So these are all like the trackers and things and my parents' trackers. So I just skip over it because there are certain things in there that I just wanna make sure they're there. And then I have my inbox and today's a good day. So let's see what she is looking like. And I'm going to skip over this and here goes my inbox flipping over because I have like, you know, a couple of pages here. So I have today's a good day. I have my content pillars, my word of the year and my parents section, which is flagged. And then here we go. I have my weeklies here and they are being used the way they need to be used. And I absolutely love this because everything that's important is written down and I could just see what's happening throughout the week or if I need to plan something or if something needs to be done and this was like me heavily like playing around with it using it and then I was like you know this is my purse planner I don't need to make an exact copy of my Hobodichi weeks but I just need the main aspects which I appreciate because now it's just the appointments and if there's anything important I will write it down here nothing too major and then if there's anything that I need to do here I will write it down and then I have important memos here and then it goes right into the next week so I already know what my next week's schedule is going to be and that is completely fine and I can go all the way towards the end of February so I usually plan my month first and what I do is literally go into my monthly section my to-do list here 
and I will see what appointments come in. Then I will write them on my weekly section, which is this right here, or in this case, it'll be this upcoming week. And then I will go ahead and write down anything for the next two weeks that I need to make sure that I am looking at, I can view and I can see, and I don't need to be worried about that. And that's how we use this planner. The paper is really, really nice paper. I love the paper quality and I just love the way that it sounds. And this planner, believe it or not, is really just a great planning system for me. Now, of course, I have these paper clips in here and you're probably wondering, do you actually take these paper clips out or do you keep them in? It really depends. Like if I put it in my A6 cover, I can keep the paper clips in there and they're pretty well protected. But if not, what I do is just I could pull these out, put them to the side here in my little like charm bowl that I have which contains all my charms by the way these are all from lucy plans life she makes like really adorable charms because i know i'm gonna get asked but these are from lucy plans life and i you've seen these before in my hobonichi weeks where i literally used it for just a charm so that is my 2023 pocket moleskin planner i think what i would do definitely is going into next year is I would probably get a hardcover one. I know there is a hardcover one and I would purchase that one. I do love the soft cover one, but I really like the fact that I don't have to like protect the back here with washi tape. There is a nice folder here, which I do appreciate. And then certain aspects that I would change is I would definitely keep this for next year. I definitely want to keep trackers. So the way it's going to move is maybe a little bit different. So what I will probably do is put my trackers either in the back, if there's a note section, or I would put them in the beginning of the month. I'm still not too sure because I'm not sure if I'm buying another 16 month or if I'm buying another one that is just basically, you know, 12 months. That's the only thought process in mind and then there's a lot of inserts that I printed and I placed inside this planner and the reason being is because this was a 16 month planner and it had a lot of 2022 in here and basically why I did that was because there was already inserts or pages in here I keep on saying inserts but there was already pages in here from 2022 that I really couldn't use so I just decided to take these inserts and really just kind of, you know, put them in so I could keep track of things. So here goes like my cycle, right? Here goes my in basically mood tracker. So you could see that that's like pretty, pretty consistent there. And then here goes my workout tracker, which is going so well, not really. Um, my reading is not doing too great, but that's okay. You know, like, it is what it is. I can't really be too hard on myself. There's a lot of things happening. And I really love this dashboard. I do plan to keep this dashboard idea in place for my inbox because I feel like I do need an inbox page. And I think when it comes to next year, I need to kind of figure out, okay, so what pages am I going to use for what? So that way it's not so many of these printed out pages. And I could completely use that for whatever I needed to. So that's the only thing. I think next year I'm going to really write down like what did I use the most in terms of inserts and what would I keep out and then where am I going to place these inserts. So there are a lot of like pages that have no specific use or purpose and I could use those for trackers. But I really want to be cognizant of how I kind of set this planner up but this planner is everything she literally goes in my purse I took her to the dentist when my mom went um, this week and it was very very convenient to kind of just open it up put in my mom's new appointment for her dentist and then kind of close it up and stick it in my purse it literally fits in my front pocket and I love that I could take her everywhere I go so this is what she's looking like she's a chunky chunky little girl I love her I think she's just really really great and I know there's a hardcover and I think I will get the hardcover so that way I don't have to carry a cover I could just use the hardcover 
and not be so worried about, you know, oh, you know, it's going to get messed up and things like that. But even still, this cover is pretty good. I would just say right here is like my only concern. And the reason that was my concern is because when I was putting it inside the cover, this was kind of lifting. So that's the only thing. But other than that, it really is your preference what you want. I love the soft bound. I love the hard bound. It really doesn't matter to me, but I just wanted to share what is happening with her. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas if you do plan to get this. And also this was about $9.99. So she was affordable and I know like Amazon will probably start selling these once they start making them for next year. All right. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.